guys! Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Valentine's special. Ooh. So I've brought along my husband, Your Jonathan. Your Valentine. Jonathan. You got an eyelash. I thought it would be fun to do like a Valentine's kind of themed video. I was almost born in Valentine's And he's an almost Valentine's baby because mm. he is the 13th of February. That's his birthday. So it's his birthday week. Mm. Woo! This is where Eduardo comes in. Happy birthday to you. Two of them do like singing happy birthday. They do. Our kids. It's their favorite song. <laughs> we thought we'd do this video on how we first met because I've told this story before but I've never told it with you so we might have different We have conflicting stories I reckon Yeah, we might have different My opinions. view is very different than this whole view here My view is obviously better <laughs> Just, I take, know, it, just take them off for the video No Oh jeez <laughs> So <laughs> <laughs> Just cleaning my Invisalign so let's go back one hour before we met. I was in college with, oh, and I had loads of friends in college, and a lot Did of you? Cork. Cork is a very small sort of town, right? So a lot of my friends had girlfriends, and then Anna was part of that group yeah. of people. So we I, were in the same friend group, but mm. we weren't. Yeah, like true. It was, we were friends with there the was same divisions friend group. of the friend group, but we never, for some reason, but for we an never entire met. year. Of university, we never even knew each other existed. Yeah. Till right at the end. So, I was out with John, and we were, and he texted Rebecca, his girlfriend, and he was like, "Oh, hey, do you want to hook up? Do you want to go to Reds, which is a nightclub in the city?" So we went to the nightclub um, to meet him. But then <laughs> we were at the nightclub just as we were kind of queuing up. Now I was about twenty six at the time. There was just like tons and tons of like really young people. And I was saying to John, I was like, I'm not Teenagers. Going. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, I'm not, I'm not going into that club, you know. And he was like, oh, Rebecca isn't here yet. And I was like, where is she? She's in Long Island. And I was like, what the hell is that? And he's like, it's a cocktail bar. But there's another girl who, a possible suitor for me, we had sort of interest, was going to be there that night. So... Who was my friend? Who was your friend? Martha. Yeah, Martha. So Martha was supposed to meet me at that night, but then we said, oh, let's go to Long Island, meet her there and all her friends. And Nothing to do with me. No. Meantime, meanwhile, Meantime. I had a boyfriend uh -oh. who I was with, and I was at Long Island with said boyfriend mm. and all my friends. You were supposed to be set up with another friend who Martha didn't even come out Martha that didn't night. Martha didn't come that night. So we had like separate nights. Uh -huh. Like, you had a very different night than I did. Mm. I was just with my I actually friend. have video of that night. Yeah, and you were, we were like, we were both in the same friend group, but like, yeah. I talked to you a little bit, but I didn't talk to you in Because you knew I was shooting that video. I just came over and I, do you remember, and I was like, hey guys, oh, to yeah, him yeah, yeah. and John. his other friend. Yeah. That was it. Like, I didn't really have that much conversation with him. Cut two. Anna comes over to me and puts her arms around me and was like, hey guys. And I remember looking over at her and thinking like, Oh my god, this is like the most beautiful girl I've ever seen in my life. And I was like, I was like, I am making a commitment. I am taking her, you know, and I was thinking like, wow, like, where, where is this girl been hiding this entire time being in Cork? Like, it was someone, I don't know who it was, but someone was like, oh yeah, you're shooting a video. And you're like, oh my god. And you were talking to me about it for a second. And then you were like, oh, this is my boyfriend. And I was just like, you know, the whole room emptied. I cried. It was like... It was emotional, and I was like, I'm gonna get through this! I'm not, why would you do that? Why, why was it like the Titanic moment? <laughs> cutting to some crap moment, and I was just like, what's just happened? You didn't even know this was happening. So, I'm like living out our yeah. lives, our children. But, I knew about Emilia and Eduardo. <laughs> I had names them and everything. But to give a backstory, like... I, the person that I was with was not, like, it wasn't a good relationship, it was, it was pretty much ending anyway. Yeah. It probably, the lifespan of that relationship was coming to a natural end, nothing to do with Jonathan. No. So we had already broken up and then got back together and it's just kind of, it was like reaching the end. It, it was kind of like, you know, your school relationship, high school or mm. secondary and then school you go boyfriend. University. Yeah, so that's where I was. I was like... 19 or was it? Yeah, mm. I was 19 so I was had just left school. I was in my first year of university and It was like my school boyfriend that I was still 
we were still kind of holding on to that relationship, but it wasn't really working that well. So. I went home and we, actually, I don't even remember the rest of the night. I had a lot of mojitos. There's video evidence which will not be inserted right here. And then, yeah, so a few days later, I was talking to everyone in college and I was like, oh my god, he's that girl. And they were like, oh yeah, that's Anna. You know, and then I searched you up on Bebo and then I think I left you a message. I don't even know if it was DMing. I think it was... It was just, public. Yeah, you just left yeah. a comment and you gave them love <laughs> on their page yeah. and that was all you could do. And we'd all put up pictures and then I found you... I think, oh, that's what I did. I found you through pictures where you were tagged Oh, in, yeah. You know, and you had that brown Marilyn Monroe theme thing. So Jonathan was going to do this music video mm. and direct it and produce it and everything. I was and casting said extras. That, yeah, he said that he was casting for extras and I was like... M like my friends and I were like how cool would this be like because we were heading into summer as well we met at the end of April so we were heading into summer and we were like oh yeah that would be so cool like to do in the summertime would be really different and the way you had it was kind of like a backup dancer or something or like a backup yeah I was looking for a lot of different people yeah, yeah so yeah. I was kind of like oh I don't know like I've never done you're like no it's like a 1950s theme mm. and I was like obsessed with Marilyn Monroe so I was like oh yeah that could be so cool and then Jonathan ended up rewriting the entire script. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We kind of we kind of locked down the video. We knew what we were doing. Then I was like, "What if we like introduced this blonde girl?" And the whole story ended up around that. And then it kind of got signed off. And yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, where did that come from? And then he came back and said, "Hey." Do you want to be in my video? Yeah, he's like, do you want to be the lead in the, there's like a lead role in this video. I was really stupid mm -hmm. <laughs> and I thought this was like a Hollywood blockbuster. This is, this is like, it. I didn't think that, Career but in changer. my, in my little like world, this was like important, you yeah. know, and it was kind of like. My world was important too. No, like, but like. I, I know, think everyone in the course was working you. on it. And... Yeah, but it was important for you for like different reasons. Mm, yeah. So the way I saw it was that all my life, I had kind of been doing things to suit oh, other people <laughs> and I had been doing things, I was always like a really safe player, like I would do things to keep like my parents happy or to keep other people happy and I always wanted to do something like this but mm. I never was like allowed or it was kind of frowned upon or I just, I don't know, I was always too scared to so for me at age 19 it was like being in a music, I know it sounds stupid and it's like, it's not like the music video went anywhere or did mm. anything like amazing for my career, but that's not what it was about. It wasn't even about a career, it was just about like an experience. Like, this is I like wanted pre YouTube to do, and everything. Yeah, like I wanted yeah. to do something exciting that was like outside. Rebel. And yeah, later down the line, some people had problems with that. Mm. But it was the first time that I'd ever done anything from like, Kind of for me. Mm. Remember how we so we started talking on MSN? Yeah. So MSN was cool then. I don't know if you guys remember even MSN. A rift had formed between Anna's friends, who I used to hang out, I was all friends with them, and then other people. There was some sort of a thing where people didn't want us to be together, so we, <laughs> we figured out a way. We were like, we need to talk in private away from everybody else. So I remember I left a comment. I think I left my, I think my status on Bebo. Yeah. I think it was like... If anyone out there has MSN, my username is yeah, yeah, yeah. blah blah blah. And then I changed my status to basically the same thing. Yeah, yeah. And then we just took them and then we just changed the profiles again. Why did we even do that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't Why know. Why did we just text each other? We were like, you're like pretty little liars. It was like, if anybody knows MSN. Yeah, it was so stupid. Huh? We were like, it was like, no need for no, it. Was no need for such it like... Covert operations. Yeah. But no one talked on. We did I, it. They probably did. No. We'd met up at the the shopping center. I sit down and I was like, I'd really like to borrow your Marilyn Monroe book. <laughs> I don't know any of them. Marilyn Monroe. And uh, so we ended up meeting in a shopping center. We sat on a bench outside Tesco for about like four hours. Yeah. Chatting like, away. Literally. And then we came up to this crossroad and my house, my student house was like, up to the left in the hill and you live down to the right mm -hmm. you know and, we were, and I was like well do you want to just come back and what did like, you say out? and it was like well I trust me no you were like oh well I trust myself and I was like well I trust myself so I've always been a really loyal person and even I've like stayed in relationships with people that I didn't even really like just because I felt sorry for them or like I felt bad too bad to break up with them I did the same thing I didn't want to break up with them so I just 
hoped they would break up with me. Yeah, that's exactly what I And it went on for quite a long time. You invited me a couple of days later up to your house, mm -hmm. right? So I didn't know where you lived. I didn't know where Anna lived. I didn't really know Cork very well either. But you were on the phone to Francesco, yeah. your brother, for like 10 years, right? So I walked all the way down to where Anna's house is. And I, was, I didn't know where I was going, but I kept ringing you and you were on the phone. Yeah. So I, I had to figure it out, like, and then eventually I figured out where you live. So I go up to the door and knock on the door, and Erica, nine year old Erica, answered the door to me and said, like, Hello? You know what I mean? It was so cute. And then uh, she was like, Oh, come in. I came into your house. I was like, Oh my goodness. Her other sister, Emma, came down. She was, um, who was she, a transitioner? Maybe, yeah. yeah I think so, a yeah. transitioner. And then I ended up making dinner for everyone. Yeah. You know? We started, like, Hanging out together more. Music video was 5th of May, 5th of June, right? Yeah. So and this is still May, I think. Yeah, so we started hanging out together around that time and like we were planning for the music. That was like the excuse mm -hmm. that we were planning for the music. And it wasn't just. Yeah, you an were excuse. drawing pictures and showing me like. Yeah, it wasn't just an excuse. Like that's genuinely what we were doing. We weren't like doing anything else. Mm -hmm. But we were becoming closer like friends. Mm -hmm. But nothing like romantically mm -hmm. happened. There was romance over here. There was no romance over there. Well, I was with someone else. But th <laughs> so, so then the guy that I was with started to have an issue with the music video. Mm -hmm. Who, bearing in mind, hadn't been treating me particularly well the entire time. All of a sudden started to have an issue because obviously I'm hanging out with this other, like, older man. Like, mm -hmm. I can totally understand why he had an issue with it. But, it well, was like... Your boyfriend was what, 20? Yeah, he, yeah, he and was And I was like 20. 26. And so he had never, like, shown that much interest in me before. Mm. So it was kind of like when something that he had was suddenly being, being taken, taken away. away, he suddenly wanted it again. And I was like, wait, what? You didn't care about me before. So it was just stupid. We shouldn't have even been together in the first place. But he started having a problem with it and he basically came to my house. You weren't there or anything. Mm. I actually remember it's now remembering. I remember when he texted me. My parents were gone. They were on a holiday, um, like a little weekend kind of break. And I was with my sisters and that was it. I think I was on my own basically. And he came to the house and he basically told me that I had to decide between the music video and him. And it's gonna sound really like weird now, say, like even saying this now mm. is so weird, but the music video, even all aside from you, the music video symbolized so it much did. in my life. It, did. it was like what I said earlier, like that turning point, like I had been doing things for other people like constantly and constantly and constantly and then there was this one thing that I really wanted to do and it seemed like everybody it's else was one of those life moments. And it, yeah, it seemed, but it seemed like everybody else was like, don't do it. And I was like, this is what I really want to do. Mm. Like, I really want to do this music video. <laughs> it's so stupid, but like it really was a big deal to me. So when he was like, gave me that ultimatum, I was like, oh my God, like, what am I going to do? And I'd never broken up with anyone in my life before. I was always the dumpy. <laughs> I was always the one that was dumped. And I was like, I'm really sorry. Like, I have to do the music video. He walked out, got in his car, and I remember like begging him not to Yeah, you to ran leave. after him. I was oh, like yeah. so upset and I was crying and I was like, what this are you doing? This is a small doing? road where everyone knows everyone. And... Then I like called him like 20 million times. The familiarity of like mm. being with a boyfriend for so long and then suddenly that's like gone. Like that was like scary to me mm. and I'd never done that before. He ignored all of my calls. He basically just like froze me out. He was like mm. so angry. And then... I remember when you texted me. I called Jonathan and I told him what had happened. And to me, at that stage, he was like my best friend. My heart was racing and I was like, what does that mean? And I was like, oh my God. And I was like, I was still afraid because I was afraid to... He didn't want to be the rebound. I didn't want to be the rebound. Yeah. And I didn't want to think that like, oh my goodness, does this mean that we, there's a possibility we could have a relationship and then set my heart on that idea and then find out that you've gone back with him. Yeah. Because there's very, if someone's been in a long-term relationship, yeah. there's a very good chance. And we didn't know each other that, that long. fall back into it. Yeah. It all came to that one night when I was out, when John and Alex were coming over, and I was over in your house, and we were drawing some pictures, and I remember just saying, it was like, I've reached, because I'd reached that point where we'd been friends, and I was, I was like, I was Sick emotionally, yeah, I was emotionally now. involved, and I just, I knew I was getting worse and worse, and I was getting angry 
that it wasn't progressing to the relationship that I wanted, and I and I felt that like if, if I I need to just I need to just like go away, you know what I mean? Because you get to that point where you're just friend zone too much, and you're just like, look, I need, and we kind of we kind of had our first fight yeah. <laughs> before we even got together, and we uh, did. and then I went out that night with John and Alex. We went out to the forest. We just got drunk and messing around and all that stuff, and um, then the next morning. I rang you. You felt the wrath. I felt the wrath! <laughs> I was like, oh, really? I was so angry because yeah. you like ignored me for like yeah. that night or whatever. You didn't come over or something like that. I, I don't know. We had like an argument. Yeah, but I left really prematurely as well. Yeah. Remember? And then I went off to the And office. yeah, I was really angry. And I, but it's funny because like with anybody else, I've never expressed like I could get angry. Usually what happens is I get angry with somebody. But I don't say it to them. Like, mm. I don't, I'm not confrontational at all. But with Jonathan, and I didn't even know him that long, I was just like, I can't believe you did that. Like, you're an arsehole. <laughs> you thought that I was, like, seriously, like, mm. feisty or something, mm. which I'm really not with anybody yes. else. But I think it was because I was so comfortable with yeah. him. And I did feel like we were in a relationship, even though we weren't. Mm. So, and that, that also kind of. I remember when that happened because I was car. kind of like, mm. why am I so angry at him? Like, why am I so upset? Like, why do I care this much if we're just friends? We did the rehearsal dinner, then you stayed that dinner. night. No, we did the rehearsal dinner! <laughs> the rehearsal for the music video. So everybody came over. On um, the 3rd of June, the 3rd of 2007. June. Yeah. We shot the music video. Well, we practiced shooting a music video and then we got ready for in two days time. And you annoyed me so much because you were like, can you not hear the beat of the music? And I was like, no. And he was like, it's okay. Some people just aren't musically gifted. And I was like, are you serious? I have had scholarships every single year of learning piano. I have like surpassed all the great, like, oh my God, are you serious right now? It's like, how many in instruments do you play? I was so angry at you. Everyone left, uh, we decided to cook dinner, and then you started this thing where level 10 was like, interested. We were like, who's your best friend? And then we were talking about friends, and I was like, well, he's like, oh, he's, well, he's my level like 7 or something like that. So then we were cooking dinner, I was like, what level am I at now? And you're like, 4. And then I do more and more, and you're like, what level am I at now? And you're like, 7. We kept like, building and increasing and increasing until we made the dinner, and then we watched the worst movie in the world. Oh yeah, the the hole or the <laughs> don't know what it was. Up the mountain. Up the mountain. <laughs> up the mountain in the hole. <laughs> it wasn't a hole. It was like the cave. The descent. The mountain people. Oh yeah. The something like that. I don't know yeah. what it was. We had the smoochies. And then I emailed my mom and I was like, I found the person I'm gonna marry or something like that. And she was like, I think you need to come home. <laughs> I think you need to. Come she was home. like. Wait, what? You know when your parents say like, oh you just know when you meet the right one, you know? And it's like, you meet loads of ones that you think are the right one, but then when you meet the right, right one, I think yeah. there's something about it. But I do think that, like, part of the reason why we work really well is because we were friends first. Like, yeah. we were, like, genuine best to, friends. Yeah, and then to have... A, st a chase or something, like, do you know what I mean? Not to make it so easy. I think because the foundation was really strong to mm. begin with, it wasn't like we just jumped into it. But you don't get to know the person, and mm. we got to know each other first, and then discovered we had feeling. Well, then I discovered I had feelings. For I had you. feelings long before then. <laughs> and now we're here. Okay, bye. And now we're here, and we have two children, and we have six dogs. Fantastic. So if you liked this video, we hope you did. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave some stories below. Yeah. Of your uh, encounters. If you have any questions, mm. let us know down below or on Twitter. Or yeah, Facebook we can go more into detail of a particular area. Yeah. And if you like these kinds of videos, don't forget to subscribe. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Wow. Um, I work out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. <laughs> Good for you. And I hope you guys have an amazing Valentine's Day, but I will be seeing you before then. We're actually in Ireland right now. Oh. Har har! What? <laughs> it was like a sea captain. Har har we hearties! We're not on a boat! <laughs> I don't know! We're on a plane! Oh, we're on a plane! <laughs> uh, thank you guys for watching, and happy Valentine's Day week. Bye! Bye.